<coughs> Alright, Shalom. First, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Macha Kodash, double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone, and peace and blessings to the elect. Um, <clears throat> just want to do a quick video, okay, really concerning um, this scripture right here. Okay, Matthew 24, verse 24. All right. Okay, and, and also, um, get this scripture real quick. All right, Amos 3, verse 7. Because it's, it's, it's funny how you have our people, okay, majority of our people, these Israelites who, when, when it comes to the real truth, the more important things, all right, that 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 uh pertain to salvation all right and the destruction of this place they don't care you know to them that's not considered knowledge to them it's just a fantasy and it's out of this world but let it come to some little light show in the sky okay like this thing this whole blue light thing and and everybody thinks that oh oh whoa oh, oh, we're, we're experts on it you know it's aliens this aliens that you know it's, it's this that and a third and you know i mean project blue beam and all this extra stuff all right, which Project Blue Beam is a real thing, all right, but it's not a li does not literally mean a blue beam in the sky. That's not what the project is about, okay. But that's what our people's attention goes on, all right. When really the the the, the truth, because here it is, they, you have people talking about this 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 was a, a, a alien has to do with aliens and stuff. They don't even understand what that means, you know. They don't understand what that means. They're worried about blue lights in the sky, man. The real thing you're supposed to be worried about is, is the, the economy, all right? The day is approaching the chip, the mark of the beast. See, these are the real matters, okay? How is Shai coming back? And we know this wasn't no this wasn't no alien invasion because the real quote-unquote alien invasion is when Yahweh Shai comes back with the angels, okay? And we know what that's going to look like, okay? Because it's, it's, it's written of and described in the scriptures. So something like this, it's not going to, it's not going to, uh, 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 sway us, you know, we're not going to be in panic or bugging out when we see science stuff like that. The scriptures did talk about signs in the heavens, okay, but we're not going to be losing our minds, questioning, oh, is that this? Is this that? Which also goes into, um, pull it up real quick. Isaiah 33 and 6. All right, because we already know the script. All right, we understand what's going on. We 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 know what to look for and what not to worry about. All right, this is Isaiah thirty-three and six. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord, how about Shem El Shai, is his treasure. See, and that's why whenever things happen, we remain stable. We remain stable because what? We know what to look for, and we know what events mean something, you know, because there's many other things that these devils would do as a distraction, but the events that really mean stuff pertaining to prophecy are things we look out for, like the, the economy, the stock market, all right, this market of bees being pushed, okay, here it is, yesterday you had uh, uh, 911, all right, they were saying how um, their services were, were being affected in terms of people being able to call 911, you know. So, so what's gonna and, and these are all test runs, man. You've seen it with the YouTube shutdown. You see it with 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 these quote unquote protests around the the the, the world. You see it with the, the 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 incident happening at the border. These are all test runs, okay. The biometric system being being uh, uh um increased, okay. The chip being pushed. All these are are all test runs on different avenues that are gonna come together, and that's what we look for. We see that. That's what we know we're supposed to be looking for, all right? So certain things that don't even uh, contribute to that, we don't worry about that, you know? Because those are all things that try to, you know I mean, get your attention and, and sway you. And, and no, we're not, we're not looking for that, right? This is Amos chapter 3, verse 7. Surely the Lord power will do nothing, but he revealeth his secret unto his servants, the prophets. So we know his secrets. We know, what's, we know when something happens, whether it's going to be something big or not, okay? We know that when we when we see the stock market uh, so volatile and 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 on the verge of collapsing, we know that it's gonna collapse. Okay, so we know that that's gonna mean something big. All right, that's something that we we we're looking at. All right. <clears throat> so um, 
This is Matthew chapter 24, verse 24. It says, For there shall arise false um, Hamashiachim, all right, <clears throat> or false Christ and false prophets, and show great signs, uh, great signs and wonders, in so much that if it were very, if it were possible, they shall deceive the very elect. But it's not; they're not going to be able to deceive us because we know how things are supposed to play out. Okay, so if you're if you're coming and saying that this is um, blah 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 blah, but according to the scriptures, that's not what it is, or that's not how it's supposed to play out. We know that it's a damn lie. You know, and with their whole project Bluebeam, they're able to make, uh, 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 what is it, 7D holograms, you know, that look and feel so real, okay? And I read somewhere that, you know, they can actually put put it in your mind for you to believe, all right, that that's, that's, uh, that's whatever it is that they're portraying to you, you know? And with their technology, they can do stuff like that. But guess what? If they try to do a, a, a quote-unquote alien invasion, all right, with an Edomite looking Messiah, we're going to know that that's fake because we know what the real uh, return of Yahweh Shai is going to look like, all right, according to the scriptures. So we know that's what we look for, all right? We know what to look for so we're not deceived. And if, if, if what we're seeing is not what is written of in the scriptures, then we know that that's not what we're worried about, okay? <clears throat> All right, uh, so I'll get this last one. This is uh, 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, all right, verse 1. But of the times and seasons, brethren, ye have no need that I write unto you. For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. See, so we know what it's supposed to look like, at least from what the scriptures say. We know what to expect. That's why Paul said what? He has no need to write unto us. But for those who don't, those who are lost, anything they see, they're going to think, oh, wow, what is this? Oh, my gosh, is this, is that. We're not going to be worried about that or bugging out because we understand what it means. <clears throat> For when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them, as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. Understand that the Lord is going to bring that destruction at a time when these people don't expect it. We're going to see it coming, all right? But like it says in Habakkuk, all right, though it tarry, wait for it, for it will surely come and it will not tarry, Okay. So we're going to see it happen, but it's going to come when people are, are thinking that everything is all sweet. You know, there's no threat, you know, all this and that. And the Lord's going to hit them by surprise. All right. It says, but ye brethren are not in darkness that that day should overtake you as a thief. See, we're, we, we're not in darkness. We know what, what we're looking for. All right. And we know what, what, what to expect. Okay. From, from what the scriptures have said. All right, so we're not going to be swayed or deceived, all right, by this devil's miracles, quote-unquote miracles, and all these different devices that he uses, man. That's why the scriptures say we're not ignorant of Satan's devices. We know what he's, he's capable of and what he's trying to do, okay? But, you know, <clears throat> let me let me read a little bit more. It says, Ye are all the children of light and the children of the day. We are not of the night nor of darkness. Let us therefore not, therefore let us not sleep as do others. But let us watch and be sober. <clears throat> See? Let us watch and be sober, man. That's, that's what we're constantly doing. Watching the news. Looking for prophecies. Looking at these articles. You know, watching the world. Linking it up, linking it up with scriptures. All right? <clears throat> these are all things that, 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 that a sober-minded person in the spirit will be doing. Doing videos on them. You know? Staying in the spirit. <clears throat> and that's what we're supposed to do. That's how you... You're able to see what's coming as a as a watch as a watchman. Alright. But low in this video is edifying to the elect. I want to give all praises to Yahweh by Shim Yahweh Shai. Hey man, we're not gonna be deceived over here, man. Through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shim Yahweh Shai. We can see. Alright, we can see it. So with that, shalom.